Yeah, welcome back, everybody. You know, it's easy to get caught up in the highlights and stats and final scores when we stare at four straight weeks of high school basketball tournaments. It's also easy to overlook the human element until it hits you like a ton of bricks. A week ago Sunday, Melstone's Ed Greeby passed away. This was his corner spot in the Bronx gym where he watched uh, Ed did his son Jason coach Melstone's boys for the last 18 years and the past four extra special watching Jason coach and his son Brody evolve into one of Montana's best players. First game after his grandpa's passing, Brody scored 35 points and threw down eight dunks in a win over Northern Cheyenne. So it's with heavy hearts the Greebies open divisionals today as an undefeated number one seed. I'd come home and he'd always tell me about how I played and he was just a great influence and I've got rim checked a couple times and he's gave me some crap about that. And, but for the most part, he's always positive. You know, the hardest thing for me was walking in our gym and looking over where he sits and being able to uh, take all that emotion in. And yeah, I wear this ring. Uh, this was his, so he's with me. You bet Ed Greeby was 82 when he passed away a week ago Sunday. That's the human reality for Melstone's guys. Our Slim Kimmel has written a terrific feature story we've shared with you at MontanaSports.com. The basketball reality, Melstone opening divisionals today against Reed Point Rappel J. And Greeby leads his team out, starts it with a pass, gets it back, hits a trailer three, just like that. Grandpa's up there laughing. 12-8 Bronx, and that began a huge run. Greeby then finds Shaden Cook in the corner. Watch the friendly roll there, caps a 16-0 run to end the half. It was 25-8 at halftime. Renegades looking for life. John Schladweiler, dancing baseline, found the opening. But Melstone slams the door. Greeby drives, kicks, and the Bronx blow it open. They're still undefeated, moving into your semis, 42-25.